It's a fear that a lot of cleaners have out there. It's the fear of using acids to clean. So today I wanted to spell those fears and show you how you can safely use acids. I want to talk about the different types of acids you can use, um, the attributes of some, and some of the not so great features of using different types of acids. So I want to talk about the two most common types of acids of the four acids that we have, a phosphoric acid and a hydrochloric acid. To the layman, both of these bottles look exactly the same, but phosphoric and hydrochloric acids do have huge differences. This is a commercial grade phosphoric acid. And when we look at commercial, we talk about content of acid. How much acid is in this bottle, if you wanna look at that. And let's say it said this is 21%. So if I'm looking at this, 21% of this bottle is the actual physical phosphoric acid. Where if I'm going into a grocery store, you're probably looking at three to 4%. Why is that? Well, when you get this bottle, you get an SDS, you get all the warnings, you get everything that you're gonna need for OSHA. And they know like, you know, this guy knows what he's doing. So let's get that tracking document. So SDSs, and they should know how to handle chemicals safely. So this is gonna work probably about 90% better than the acid bowl cleaners or whatever you're getting from the grocery store. But let's talk about hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid you can get at commercial cleaning product stores and it's usually the cheapest one on the market. So you'll see three or four on the shelf and this one, as it looks exactly like that bottle, you'll pick this one up and say, you know what, this one works the best. This one's the cheapest. There's gotta be a reason for that. Hydrochloric acid will burn chrome, stainless steel, metals on contact. So if I put this in a sink, let's say in the kitchen and I'm trying to get those nasty, stubborn coffee stains out, this is gonna burn your surface on contact as soon as it hits. A lot of times people are like, well, what is it used for then? Why would I use a hydrochloric acid? Because it's something that is so dangerous. We use it for, let's say I walk into a building and the building has been empty for a while and I'm getting a call from a tenant saying, hey, can you come in and do a occupancy clean? Or, you know, people are moving in, do a move-in clean for me. And I go to my toilets and they're disgusting. There's rings in the toilets. They're just really, really dirty. Well, look at it this way. There's no metal in your toilet. So that is something that's porcelain. This works great on those surfaces. It will get them out quickly. It will do a great job but it will also, like I said, if you get it on those chrome fixtures, it's gonna burn the chrome fixtures on contact. It's not gonna give you like, oh, let me grab that really fast. That's why we at OctoClean avoid it unless we're using it for that. So let's talk about the benefits of a phosphoric acid. A lot of times, and you'll see photos of your sinks that have wheat lime scale. So lime scale is an alkaline deposit. An analogy we use is, if you ever park your car in front of a sprinkler and then the next morning you wake up and you see those little water spots all over your car, that's a great analogy for people to understand what hard water is. After the water evaporates, it's whatever solids are left and that's what our job is to, to remove, right? So those solids are alkaline and this is an acid. We could talk all day about the pH scale, but I recommend that you go look at your pH scale so you can kind of understand that. If you're dealing with a coffee stain in a stainless steel sink, and you'll see them, they'll turn gold. Um, you're almost looking there like, well, I scrubbed it, I put my glass cleaner in it, I put heavy duty degreaser in it. Um, once those coffee beans are drying, the only thing that gets that stain out is an acid. So we use a phosphoric acid because it is safer. If I'm using a bowl acid, whether it's hydrochloric or phosphoric, I'm gonna wanna have something to cover my eyes. I wear glasses, so I'm fine there. Um, if I feel like I'm gonna do a lot of splashing, I will have a face shield and I always wanna wear gloves. And if I'm worried, like I'm saying, with splashing, I'll wanna have my arms and sleeves covered up. There are studies that show long-term effects of inhaling acid, right? Those acids, you see the quart bottles. I've seen people put trigger sprayers in them. That is a very poor way to dispense those. And why do I say that? I say that because as soon as I'm squirting that trigger sprayer, the chemical gets atomized. So it gets into the air and then you're breathing it in and it goes into your lungs. And you'll see how it cleans a surface. 
It's gonna do the same thing on your lung tissue. It's gonna eat that tissue. So do not put a trigger sprayer in it and spray that chemical on. Acids are very valuable when it comes to cleaning restrooms, toilets, sinks, urinals. What we like to say is if there's water in it, there needs to be an acid in it to clean it. Because if we're looking at water, when water dries, you have an alkaline deposit. If you're not putting an acid after an alkaline, that water, those alkaline deposits are not gonna be removed. So we'll see a lot of that with untrained workers where they're going in and trying to scrape it with like a knife or a putty knife or um, who knows what they're gonna do. Oh, that faucet needs to be replaced. It just can't be repaired. It can't be cleaned. Like I said, stay safe. If you have any questions about acids, different types of acids, um, if you need further clarification, go ahead and let me know and we'll get back to you.